Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I know you recognize this uh, monument right here because I have already uh, got a video out on, on the general. This is General George Jarrison Stannard's monument. And in case you don't recognize him, there we go. So I'm actually here in Burlington, Vermont, at Lakeview Cemetery this evening because I came to see if I could find the graves of both Theodore and his daughter Theodora Peck's graves. Now, if you typically use the coordinates offered by Find a Grave, they're typically quite good, except for this. Holy cow! I was driving in my car to find it, and it told me to stop somewhere over there and said, you have reached your destination. Heck no, no, no. And then I read a description saying it was their graves, or at least his grave, was near General Stannard's. I thought, okay, but it did say it was down from. Now down from would be towards the lake, towards the lake over here. And uh, <laughs> no, that's not right either. Egads, people, egads. Um, their graves are over here. They are just above the generals. And as we walk over here, see where there's a flag. Where you see a flag with a grave, it means they served in the military. Any branch at all, doesn't matter which one. So here we have Theodore Safford Peck, T.S. Peck's grave. See, he received the Medal of Honor. He was a Brevet Major General, Company H, 9th of Vermont Infantry during the U.S. Civil War. Uh, you see that he just missed his birthday by a week. He died at the age of 74. So, this is his grave right here. And, and over here, it says, Father. Now, over here, there's another grave that says mother. That'd be his wife, Agnes. It does have this bit right here on the front, which I recommend you pause and read. Um, so there's that. And then over here, there is a William. I don't know who that is. If anyone else knows, please um, say something in the comments below because I really have no idea. Uh, they had um, one daughter named Theodora. Actually, she was born Mary Agnes Peck, uh, middle name certainly to honor her mother. She was a, a poet and an author in her own right. Her first novel was published when she was 19 years old. I have, a, I have a, actually videos on each of them, on uh, T.S. Peck, as in T.S. Peck Insurance, ding, 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 and Theodora Peck, because they are interesting people. They deserve to be remembered. Uh, but the description for Theodora's grave, which is in the same plot as theirs, is quote-unquote, left of father. So that's the father. That's the mother. So... Anyway, I'm not sure. I haven't actually read that plaque yet. Maybe it's a com, com well, it can't be a combination. Um, Theodora died in 1964, January 1964. Never married, never had children. So I want to tell you how to find their graves. Um, so it's much, 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 much easier for you than it was for me, because I've already spent, yeah, I've been here uh, mm, about 25 minutes trying to find, trying to find them, so, because I was looking down from the uh, General's uh, monument. So once you find the monument of, uh, of, um, of the General, right there, you want to walk this way right over here, right near this tree, and then look down. 
it's just that easy. Because this is only my second try, and uh, that's pretty good. Well, I was looking for a General Ot Oliver Otis Howard's grave, another Medal of Honor recipient. <laughs> seven tries, seven tries, seven visits, rather, seven visits to try to find him. Um, I can't tell you the number of graves I looked at otherwise. He gads. Anyway, I wanted to uh, share this with you um, because I know that you want to come and pay your respects not only to a man who received the Medal of Honor, and by the way, uh, his his Medal of Honor citation thus far of the ones I have uh, made videos on, his has been the most fleshed out, gripping, edge of the seat kind of material. And you know, if if a screenwriter went to a producer and said, "Hey, I just wrote this. What do you think?" The producer would laugh the screenwriter out of the room, saying, "Implausible." And yet, oh my gosh, real life. So, check out, uh, I'll put links in the description below of the people I've talked about and uh, have videos on. And um, please enjoy. Please enjoy. All right, so you have a great evening, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.